Hi, I'm Kieran Fallon from Dublin. I'm the winner of the News Talk Guinness hurling competition. I'm here at Crow Park today to see a great semi final. I can't wait. It's going to be a great game. Thank you, Guinness. Hey, I'm here now with two famous lads himself Ken McGrath, former Waterford player, Derek Link, former Kilkenny player. I'll start with you, Ken. How's the balls in the Waterford camp? Are they confident about today? Ah, yeah, I suppose. Look, it's uh, unexpected. We didn't after the one stop five. We didn't think we'd be up here, you know. So, uh, no, they're, 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 uh, they're looking forward to the game. I suppose they're playing against Kilkenny. Uh, confidence levels wouldn't be too high, but sure, they're up to have a go and see what happens, you know. Kilkenny after that Dublin League final, you know, they looked bad, but Dublin did put it up to them. Will today, will they be a lot more hungry to, to get that out and get this All Ireland title back off Tipperary? Yeah, the league final wasn't a great day, and uh, to be fair to them, you know, they're missing a lot of key players, and uh, you know, I think any team that's losing four or five of their first team starters are always going to be struggling a little bit. And uh, but look at you know the All Ireland final, I suppose to get to All Ireland final is the is the goal for Kilkenny this year, and you know they're one step away, and if they can get over today's result, look, the league final will be in the back of their minds. I think there will be no one talking about that for a while. So look at if they get over today. It'll, to be a, it'll be a great achievement, I think, again, to get back to another, another final. And when you come up to Crow Park for a semi-final, this is the first real day that I, I think I really miss it. When you're saying it all up in the car, that it's, it's hard. Like, when you see the pitch out there and the size of this place, it's what you kind of, we all played hurling for over the last 15 years, you know. But uh, it's hard, but look, sure, we made our decisions, we have to stick with it. He's lucky he have a good few other medals I've known, so he's, it's a bit easier for him, you know. Hey, it's half time here in Crow Park. Kilkenny winning by six points. How do you think it's going? From a Kilkenny point of view, they'd be happy enough, I think, because, uh, you know, Waterford done a lot of the hurling, and, uh, they, you know, at times it, they probably took too much out of it, and, uh, you know, Kilkenny six points up, so I think they'd be very happy with it. And uh, But Waterford are hurling well, but probably not getting enough scores, I think. We've done a lot of hurling in the first half, but we probably made hard work for ourselves as well. Uh, a few times, the lads are probably striking the ball in faster and longer, as, as we were saying before the game, but, uh, and, and John went for a I think he went for a score actually and the keeper stopped cold straight away so uh, we're under pressure now but uh, we played a good bit of hurling in the first half hopefully in the second half they might hit the ball longer and faster in you know. Game over here Kilkenny have won by six points and they're through to the all Ireland final and here's the delighted man himself what do you think of the game? Yeah look um I suppose the game was kind of it felt like it was over halfway through the second half, you know. Um, I suppose Kilkenny built up a good lead, and in fairness to Watford, they kept plugging away and they came back strong at the end, you know. But uh, from a Kilkenny point of view, they'll be delighted. Well, it's the end of the day. Had a good match, great day, great spectacle. When I entered on Facebook, you know, I wasn't didn't know what to expect, but it was a brilliant day. Everything went well. Match was brilliant. News talking Guinness. Thanks so much for this opportunity. Couldn't, couldn't have asked for any better day ever. And I'm off to see Shefflin in the dressing room, I reckon, just get an autograph. Cheers.